We highly recommend all SK Pro players invest in Hammond's EXP50J, which is the same size, shape, and feel of the classic pedal found on B3s, C3s, and A100s. Our EXP20 is a fine choice as well. There are also many third-party pedals which work just fine with the SK Pro family. You should know there is a difference between a volume pedal and an expression pedal. A volume pedal sits in the audio chain between the instrument and the amp or sound system. An expression pedal uses the circuitry inside the instrument to control volume. This is the kind of pedal we recommend for the SK Pro series. Be sure any third-party pedal you choose has the capacity to serve as an expression pedal. Some models have capacities to be an analog audio volume pedal and an expression pedal. There's a dedicated jack on the back panel of all SK Pro models for an expression pedal. It's a stereo jack, and any pedal attached must use a quarter-inch stereo or TRS tip ring sleeve plug to work properly. With your SK Pro powered down, plug your expression pedal in. Now power up. Choose a combination featuring the organ section and work the pedal to ensure it is active. We've asked you to test the pedal with an organ voice because there are instances on the SK Pro where the expression pedal's use is defeated, mostly in piano voices. More on this a little later on. A damper, or sustain pedal, is essential in any piano performance. The SK Pro series accepts a wide variety of damper pedals. Our FS9H foot pedal works as a fine damper, as do many third-party piano-type damper pedals. With the SK Pro powered down, plug in your damper pedal, then power up. When the SK Pro has booted, choose a piano combination and try the damper. If it is backwards, meaning the notes are always sustaining and stops doing so when the pedal is depressed, we'll need to do a little menu diving. If your pedal works properly, please be patient for a few moments while we help those who need it. If your damper is working backwards, press the Menu Exit button. Then press the right Page button twice, landing on the System page. Now, press the Direction Down button twice, where you'll arrive at Control, and then hit Enter. Now, press the right Page button three times to arrive at Damper. Press the Direction Down button twice to set the blue highlight on Calibrate. Make sure you are not stepping on the damper pedal, then hit the Enter button. Your damper pedal should now be working properly. Select a combination featuring a piano patch and try it out. There is one more thing to consider regarding the damper. The SK Pro's combination system allows you to select which sections will be affected by the damper. If you have a combi where you wish to change the damper function, press the Menu Exit button, select Combination, and press Enter. Press the right Page button once. The second column on this page is labeled Damp. Use the Direction buttons to select the field you wish to change. After your edits, make sure you save the combination as a user combi and make sure to assign that new user combi to a favorite. If you are editing a user combi, you can overwrite it and it will remain in the favorite slot where it was located. Foot switches can do a variety of useful things to enhance your performance. Many SK Pro players use a foot switch to control the speed of the digital Leslie or attached Leslie cabinet. There is a dedicated jack for it on the SK Pro's rear panel. There are two types of switches you can use for this function, latching and momentary. A latching foot switch provides off or on with each successive press. You'll feel a definite click in the switch when you depress it each time. Remove your foot from the switch and the selected mode stays the same. Vintage Classic Leslie Floor Preamps employed latching switches for the speed control. Pressed once, the speed was fast. Pressed again, the speed went to slow or corral mode. In our modern instruments, this is the default mode. It's called Alt for alternate. The speed alternates between slow and fast with each press. A latching switch is perfect if you desire this way of controlling your Leslie speed. There's a second way you can control your Leslie speed using a momentary switch. 
A momentary switch is normally off, turning on as long as you're holding it down. When you release your foot, the switch springs back to off. Piano-style damper pedals are always this type. We recommend our FS9H foot switch or a piano damper type pedal. Even though the switch does not click, it will work in the same manner as a latching switch when used in the default ALT mode. A momentary switch also allows a second way you can address your Leslie speed. Here, the Leslie speed will be fast when the switch is depressed, remaining there for as long as the pedal is held down. When the switch is released, the speed will drop back to slow or corral. In order to use this function, you'll need to change a parameter in the menus. Press the Menu Exit button. Then press the Write Page button twice, arriving at the System page. Press the Direction Down button twice, arriving at Control. Press Enter. Under Device, make sure it is set to Foot Switch, using the Value knob to adjust. Press the Direction Down button once, blue highlighting the field across from Tip Mode. Using the Value knob, select Leslie SFMOM. Then press Play. Your momentary pedal should now be spinning the Leslie fast when you press and hold the foot switch, going back to slow when you release it. There is a third option for pedal changing Leslie speed. Many folks like to use the brake function of their Leslie, where all rotation of the elements come to a stop. You can set a momentary switch to enter brake mode by pressing and holding the momentary switch down for longer than one second. That's longer than you might think. The next press will set the Leslie to slow or corral, and each subsequent press will cycle between slow and fast, as if it were a latching switch. To engage this function, you'll need to access it in the menus. Press the Menu Exit button. Then press the Write Page button twice, arriving at the System page. Press the Direction Down button twice, arriving at Control. Press Enter. Under Device, make sure it is set to Foot Switch, using the Value knob to adjust. Press the Direction Down button once to blue highlight the field across from Tip Mode. Using the Value knob, select Leslie SF Try. Then press Play. In an organ patch, try out your pedal. Press it a few times to ensure it is alternating between fast and slow with each press. Then press and hold the switch. Notice the indicator LED on the stop button next to the keyboard. It should illuminate. You are in stop mode. Press the foot switch again and you should hear the Leslie at slow speed. Your personal taste will guide which type of switch you use for Leslie speed and how that switch will control it. That wraps it up for the intel on basic usage for expression pedals, dampers, and Leslie foot switch. Look for the follow-up video on their advanced usage. Thanks for watching, and as always, Hammond is the sound, the soul, the one.